Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to any Apple iDevice that's running iOS 7. Apple has always had a made for iPhone program. That's so that you can use their API and to configure your hardware to work with iOS. But with the release of iOS 7, Apple has introduced an API that allows manufacturers to make hardware to control your iOS devices in game. Of course, the games have to have made for iPhone and they have to be configured. There is a list that I'm going to include in the description um, from Pocket Gamer that has a whole bunch of games that you can use with this API. But today they released a tweak in Cydia called Controller for All. And it's very simple to set up and you don't have to go out and spend about a hundred bucks to get a controller that works with iOS 7. You can use your PlayStation 3 controller and a whole bunch of other little things to make your experience almost like a game console. So I'm going to show you what you need. You're going to need six pair. Six pair is a program that you run on your Mac, Windows or Linux computer that allows you to connect Bluetooth to your PlayStation 3 controller. You're also going to need to go into Cydia and buy an app called Controller for All. This is a $2 app and this allows you to use this PlayStation 3 controller to control, say, this iPad mini. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that. And we're going to go ahead and install. And you're going to see it here in controllers for all. So you can suppress notifications. There's not much you have to do as far as the settings go. But they have instructions to show you how to pair in your different OS's. Let's download 6Pair. It will automatically download and show up in your downloads folder. Double click it. and it will open up and I recommend pulling your app into your applications folder and then you could start it up from applications okay let's open up settings and you're gonna see now that you installed controller for all you also installed that and Bluetooth stack. I recommend going to Bluetooth stack because then you don't have to go to Bluetooth after that because it will deaden out. So you now there's nothing to do with Bluetooth. All this connection is going to take place right on the Mac. So now you're paired. That's it. Now we're going to take it to the other camera and I'll show you how it works. So now that we're paired via the Mac, we can go to some games. Let's try Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. So you can see I have my PlayStation and it's it says disconnect but don't okay because it's already paired we're going to skip all the sign in and we're going to resume the game
here we are. We can look around with the right analog stick. And we selected buttons. In and out of the car. You could jump with the square. You get in and out of cars with the triangle. And you move with the left analog. You can punch with the circle. And then you can sprint. You want to share too? And you could center with the left shoulder button. Oh, that's cool. Punch, punch, jump with the square. Let's get on a bike. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the Kids deal. Kids a little bit really used to. Funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is Okay. So the right trigger button is the gas. That's pretty much how it works. into a car. Kill or the You decide. So there you have it. The Bluetooth. PlayStation 3. Controller working with the iOS device or without wires. There you have it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And there's plenty of games, and I'll put all these games that work with the controller in the description. If you have any questions, once again, just get in touch with me. So, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.